Hey guys, I'm Dale. Hi guys, it's Rue. And today we're going to be reacting to Radiohead Creep live performance. Um, I know about this song because my mum has always been listening to it. <laughs> I also know because we share the same mum and yeah, she plays the song. <laughs> she plays the song regularly. Like if she ever has a drink or whatever and she has a little music session, she'll just play the, uh, the song. So I don't really know the artists behind the song or the band. Um, I've heard the song obviously, but I've never seen their faces like that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You're a bit more closer, a little bit more closer to this generation than me. Yeah, um, I was born in 97, so, I mean, early 2000s, yeah, mum was playing this song a lot, still plays a lot today. I was born in 2003, so, like, this was, like, music just completely changed by that time, and it, like, mm -hmm. but it was still being played, obviously, by yeah. our mum, but... It's a very big song, um, so I'm interested just to see the faces behind uh, this song, and... Just um, how they interact on stage and stuff, yeah. like, should be fun. So let's get into it. I'm glad to see a face to this artist I've heard all my life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was thinking he just looks like a very a normal guy, yeah. like a normal British geezer. Like if I was walking down the road and saw him, I wouldn't think, oh, this guy has made one of the, like a, such a huge song, you know mm. what I mean? Or that he does this. Yeah. Like you'd just think, oh yeah, it's just a geezer in it. Yeah. His t-shirt and his neon. Then yeah, it does, literally. Like, but and it's cool. It's cool to see a face behind the song, like, and what a big song this is. You know what I mean? Trust me. And yeah, it sounds great. Like even this version sounds very much like the um, studio version. Mm. So shout out to the band as well, like for being so on point and beautiful voice that he's got in it. Like, trust me, hauntingly be beautiful. <laughs> sad song it is and it like um just the theme of not belonging and mm. just feeling out of place and it's a big thing to write about because i think not a lot of song artists can like tend to go that route when writing songs and i think mm. i really appreciate artists that do that and there's another um artist that we've been reacting to on our channel called ren mm. and he reminds me of him because of how ren kind of can dive into these deeper mm. Um, conversations in yeah, his music like sharing like darker thoughts and feelings and yeah being able to share that with the world i think that is it's very very real compared to like a lot of the materialistic you know look at me i have this i have that i get this rather than well actually i don't feel great right now um i'm experiencing this yeah. and i'm not happy you know what i mean yeah. like, and i think people can relate to that a lot more yeah you know what i mean so definitely i think it is it is a beautiful it's dark but it's a beautiful thing to be able to tap into that and to express it in such a hauntingly beautiful way i think you know you've got skills if you can do that you know what i mean mm -hmm. and it's going to touch people's hearts a lot more than just you know the other stuff we're hearing no it's true definitely so i agree shout out to radio hips you know yeah 
I just want to have control I want a perfect body I want a perfect soul I want you Fucking special how happy the crowd are to be there yeah like, trust me although this is such a dark and kind of sad song um, you can see just how happy everybody is and the fact that like, you can hear them in the background you can hear everyone when was this one. recorded um i don't know i'm guessing let's have a look because like early 2000s late 90s probably oh it's uh doesn't say i'm, I'm there. not even in here Oh, wow. Because I was thinking, like, this is... I love videos like this because it shows history. Mm. Even the way that they were just bopping, like, some yeah. of them like, are probably, like, 20 years older or so, like, mm. now. Or probably even older. Yeah, definitely. And it's like, imagine looking at yourself, like, bopping to this tune yeah. live. Yeah, it's quite the time capsule. It's quite kind of sick. Trust me. You can see how much everyone loves these, that like, just from their expressions in the audience. Mm-hmm. the transition from him using his head voice into him actually projecting mm. his higher notes was amazing and also the vibrato that he used when he was holding notes yeah it was really nice the, his lung capacity his lung capacity is crazy as well like that was a very long note that he just did yeah and i did like like you know the first two thirds of the song he's singing but it's kind of like he's talking whereas mm. like this part really got to show his vocal abilities you know mm -hmm. what i mean like and what a powerful voice is that, that he has yeah I don't even know what his name is That's i don't know either. yeah now beautiful though like that was actually sick it's It's mad because I think watching that and actually listening to it myself, because you've heard it all your life, you know, mm. like when your mom's playing, you don't really deep it in it. Mm. But like, because I was listening to it, I kind of understood more the context of the song. Mm. I mean, the con concept of the song, kind yeah. of. And like, just the idea of him, I feel like he like really just look, 
like he's really like in love with somebody yeah yeah. and I then like he's thing. thinking like wow this person's amazing mm. but then he's looking at himself like am i as good as that though like yeah. can i live up to that because it's like a wanting of just wanting to be noticed like yeah. you know what i mean like um and obviously it's a lyric like i want a perfect body i want a perfect soul yeah you know and kind of like wants this person to or whoever or a, a, i don't know if it's a, a person or just yeah. people in general just yeah. to kind of just notice and miss no you know i want them to miss me when i'm not here and yeah just... he wants what he sees in somebody else basically mm, mm. in a sense it's deep i want i hope he i hope he's okay uh, you know like i hope it meant like you know that he's he was in a good place or life got better because i guess obviously he's, you have to write these kind of songs from a place of being there and yeah. it's uh, um he's sad um but you know i hope life did get better like yeah because obviously these guys must have made their money and mm-hmm. had their fame like so yeah I don't know I just hope that he got everything that he desired and it like mm-hmm. or at least the mental space to just be in a better place and yeah man just that one but, it, was, it was fun listening to this I think that the biggest thing that I got from it was just his vocal capacity and the fact he can go from telling kind of a story to proper projecting his vocals in such an amazing way really enjoyed that yeah i definitely now now i can listen to the song with a face in mind yeah exactly yeah yeah. and um you could see that he was really putting his heart into it while he was singing as well like he was in that place as well yeah yeah. it's really cool but yeah i love that i absolutely love that that was amazing but yeah thanks for watching guys yeah thanks for watching and if you have any other suggestions um even any more radiohead songs that we should check out i i did enjoy watching this live obviously we've heard a few other radiohead songs but i don't know i think it's a different thing when you're watching the actual band performing yeah definitely so i'd love to see see more stuff like this actually yeah, yeah drop any suggestions down below in the comments and we'll definitely try and have um a little check out of what you guys have got thanks for listening guys yes. and watching peace see you bye